Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Spurred On. It's me, Emma, joined by the lovely Reese and the equally lovely Craig. Um, we got a lot of good feedback when we did a big conversation about who should start out of Sun and Lamella. So we know what we thought. Let's do another one. So we're going to have a little chat about our fullbacks because following Saturday's excellent performance from Kieran Trippier, we've got to ask, actually, who are our best fullback pairing now? Reese. Well, might I say, also excellent performance from Ben Davies. Yes, very much so. It was so. also quality. He was getting in the box. Now, I think it massively depends on who we're playing, right? And I know this doesn't really help the d debate element. We do have this issue with I the whole debate commit. element. We are in a privileged position where we've got four quality fullbacks who can play in different types of games. If I had to pick two to keep, let's say, hypothetically, we we're getting rid of some, I think I think I would keep Davies and Trippier at the moment. But... I would be very sad to see the other two go. And the, but the reason is, is that Davies, right, and this will be controversial, I think Davies is as good going forward as Danny Rose. He's not as quick. That's the only thing they both of them lack, is they're not as quick. But Davies, I think, is a more reliable defender. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's a more intelligent footballer. And I think he's better going forward. I think his crossing is a lot better than Danny Rose. If Danny Rose is in those positions before Ben Davies can get there, because he's quicker. But then Danny Rose just sort of aimlessly crosses it, whereas Davies always tries to pick a pass. Yes. Right, And I think that's a lot more important. I think he creates more chances. Um, and I think he's got a... He's um, as, as, I mean, he's good at shooting. Suddenly. Basically, you're just loving Ben Davies. I think like Ben Davies so is great. Right Welsh, I love a Welsh left back. Always have. <laughs> Always said that. But, right. but... Because your name's Reese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. But it depends. It massively depends on the type of game. Because if, yeah. if, 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 they, if a team's going to play 10 behind the ball, then you want Davies and Trippier starting because they're going to attack. But if a team's going to come and attack us and try and beat us, then you want the pace of Rose and Walker and the so, phys physicality of Rose and Walker. Now that Reese has answered every single question yeah, on the card, there you go. Craig, where do you stand on this? <laughs> ah, it's so <laughs> tricky because they all have different qualities. Yes. And uh, they all offer something different. What I will say is, though, I disagree with the last point you made where you said if, if a team has 10 behind the ball, you'd prefer Davis and Trippier. Because for me, if a team has 10 behind the ball and they're willing to counter, you need fullbacks that are going to be able to pace it back and keep up with them. So in my opinion, I feel someone like Rose and especially Carl Walker, the, the pace they possess, they can quickly recover. In this modern game, fullbacks have to be fast. Some of the best fullbacks at the moment... I hate to say it, Hector Bellerin, are very, very <laughs> ooh, fast. Ooh. Yeah. I know, he's good, he's a good player. He's I mean, player. I'm not going to be, you know, yeah. it's ridiculously biased. No, about it. He's a very right. good player. So I, I feel like Carl Walker probably matches him, maybe. I haven't seen him, I mean, they had a 100 meter sprint, but he's very fast, Carl Walker. So for me, that will always edge him. And I think he's stronger than Trippier as well. But Trippier's got the crossing aspect. But is the crossing aspect enough? It depends on who we're playing. So yeah. would you do the reverse? You'd, you'd have. Uh, Walker and Rose playing in a game where there's 10 behind the ball because of the counter-attack and then you'd have Davies and Trippier in a game where they're going to come at us or would you just play Walker and Rose all the time? Yeah, well yeah, I think if, if, if a team is on the front foot against us which doesn't really happen these days because we're usually on the front foot then I think I would have Davies and Trippier because they're better defensively from what I've seen so they need to be able to just stay back and kind of contain that defence whereas if a team's going to counter us, I feel like Carl Walker and Danny Rose can, you know, bomb forward, pace back. Do we back. miss out on the counter then? If a team's going to come and play well, against we don't, us we don't, and we, we don't have any pace at, at our fullbacks, do we not miss out on the counter? Well, this sort of thing... Uh, but we've still got the other players that can do the counter. For instance, we saw it the other day with uh, Dembele and Deli Ali. Dembele sprinted up the field, Deli Ali's come down, he's kind of turned, flicked it on for him, and then Trippier's arrived after and just put the ball in. So we've yeah. still got the midfielders that can and create Trippier that. Trippier arrived pretty quickly, didn't he? Well, this is what, you know, he did. Pace, an pace argument, guy. An, he did, he did. Pace guy. Um, an argument actually that can be made is do you value higher then kind of positional intelligence? or speed. Like I personally think that Trippier and Walker are actually much for much as I think you can play either. Yeah. And I think they both have very similar strengths. I think the difference comes with Rose and Davis. And I think it comes down to the fact Rose, like we've both like we've all said, is obviously going to get to everywhere a lot faster and is a lot stronger. But you can argue that Davis is a better defender in his head, in his positional sense, That's what I'd say. intelligence. So what the thing is what do you value higher then? What becomes more important? I'm a, I'm a, I'm an old fashioned man. Even though I'm young and I look young, I'm an old fashioned man. I, I like defenders that just get stuck in, stick their foot through it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Danny Rose is a real old school defender in that sense. Like, he's very physical, very tenacious. But this is a new game, and Ben Davis is very. Ben, ben Davis is a bit. He's a bit of a pansy for me. I feel if I'm like honest. I do feel like Ben Davis can get a little bit bullied sometimes, which is something he could learn not but to I be. But I feel like but... Danny Rose, to me, Danny Rose isn't an old school defender. He's more of a left mid, but he. Gets, he's constantly giving away fouls in stupid positions and getting a yellow card. He does have those in his game. Does it like I'm Lamella not gonna lie, does. he does have those Lamella, in his game. It's him and Lamella are the ones I think I think when they start they probably get a yellow card. Yeah. 
but their work, two. but their work rate can't be questioned. Well, the, oh, even absolutely. Danny Rose's absolutely. work rate. Absolutely, and you know what? I'm not having a go at Danny Rose. Because yeah. He's a great player, and I love that he's in our squad. And when he plays, I don't feel nervous. But <laughs> I, if in the debate of having to pick one, I think I'd go mostly with Ben Davies. Okay, mm. well, it's interesting because the whole reason that we sort of thought about this as a big conversation is because we did do a lovely Twitter poll straight after the uh, Watford win on Saturday. Oh, so that's accurate, isn't it? Uh, yeah. About, yeah uh, a bit. Straight after the game where they performed well. So, um, yeah. funnily, so funnily enough, <laughs> as, you, as you might you might be not that surprised to hear, 33% of you voted for Trippier and Davis as the number one centre back, uh, centre back, full back partnership, followed by Trippier and Rose in 31%. So it's interesting, you think about Carl Walker, who's been a mainstay of our back four for how long? Has suddenly gone from being what you guys would think of an automatic first choice. But I mean, I think off the bat, it, that coming immediately after that game, that performance from Trippier, yeah. it's, it's very hard to vote against him. Yeah, I, people have, people have short term memory, especially in football, you know, they remember the most recent results. Who's played the most games this season for us? I'd say Carl Walker. We've got we've conceded 19 goals, so he's obviously had a large part to do with that since he's played the most games. So I think it's a bit unfair off the basis of one very good performance by Trippier. Not he's been good in other games, but that performance was very good. Another performance against Watford when we played them last time at Vicarage Road. Trippier played as well, right? Yeah, and also he's very good really, in that. He's really very good in that game. Well. So he fancies Watford, obviously. Yeah, he got the assist, didn't he? <laughs> he for did that, that last minute. He, he played did. very, he played very good, but it's um. I mean, Carl Walker's played the most most of the games this season, and we have only conceded 19 games. So I'd like to see some more in-depth stats. thing I'd say, though, about Walker and Trippier is that Trippier, I think, offers us so much more crossing-wise. Yeah. His crossing is so much more accurate, but also he's willing to cross first time. Kyle Walker constantly stops it, rolls does. it, then crosses it, which just slows it down so much. Yeah. And while he is so pacey, so he speeds it up half the time, I mean, Trippier, his crossing has been next level yeah. the last few times he's played. Yeah. And that's hard to ignore. Well, that kind of brings us into the conversation, the big question of who will Poch go with on Sunday? Who is the best for arguably, I would say, so far, this is our biggest game of the season, bar mm. none. Who is he going to pick? I think he'll pick Walker and Rose. And I, I don't know if and I... Do dis- you agree? I don't disagree. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, is that the same as agreeing? It's quite, <laughs> not, quite non-committal, really. But basically going back to the point of teams who are going to come and attack us, and that's going to be quite an even game. That's going to be quite an end-to-end game. I think we could do with the pace of Walker and Rose in that game. I agree. Plus, I'm not sure, right. other than Aguero, that I'm that threatened. But given the amount of injuries they've got, mm-hmm. I'm not that threatened by a lot of players. Sterling's oh, touch wood has not been amazing this season. He's bound to do something against us yeah. now. Patrick now, oh, yeah. blatantly. Never. Aguero, obviously, Never. but then that's down to Toby and Kev. So I don't know. Yeah, I think it'll be Walker and Rose, and I think that'll be fair enough. I agree because D- David Silva started on the right against Leicester. Uh, apparently, he's injured now. We were filming this on a Tuesday, so don't shoot me. Um, but if they do start Navas, maybe on the right, and then Sterling on the left, you're looking at pace on those wings. Mm. I mean, we're going to try our best to be on the front foot. If we're on the front foot and trying to peng them back, they're going to try it. Obviously, none of us like to be reserved in our play. But if we're trying to pen them back, they're going to try and counter. I'm not convinced if Davis and Trippier are trying to trap back and keep up with the likes of Sterling and Navas. So it all depends on how the game's going. But I, I'd say he'd start Walker and Rose, purely because they're, they're our two longest serving players and yeah. they're very experienced in these yeah. kind of games as well. I actually yeah. think he'll start Trippier and Rose mm. um, because I think yeah, we've seen... he does seen, reward form, He does he? reward form. You yeah. looked at how he started Sun after Sun did really well. Um, but I disagree with that. I actually agree with you guys. I think Walker and Rose are the way forward because I think in this game we need experienced heads. It's such a C- huge Could Trippier game. contain Sterling? Going forward, banging those crosses in and then Sterling... I mean, it's, this is what it's, we need to think about. Yeah. Hard, Sterling's a, he's a tricky Sunderland, customer. Trippier without a position when Sunderland got that goal. Yeah, that's true. When Van Aanholt went. And this is what Delhi, I mean. This I is what I mean about experience. Yeah. It's about having, especially given that we're obviously missing Jan in the back four. So even though we, you know, we all mm. say that Vim has been great, I think the continuity and experience across that back four, I think, is what we're going to need. But here we go. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes. I mean, come on Sunday, such a big day. I can't mm. wait for it. Well, I mean, that's what we think. But what do you guys think? Like, let us know in the comments below. Give us a like if you like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And uh, we'll see you soon. Come on, you Spurs. Hello, and welcome to part one of another episode of Spurverse. I'm here with Craig and Emma as usual. Now, first up, we are talking about the weekend, the Watford win. 